We received a lot of questions about this IKEA organizer from our storage solution section in this video, so we are going to show you how it works and how it's mounted to the wall. This Scatus collection is extremely versatile because you can organize it endless ways and it's awesome for your home, office, or RV, so you definitely want to check it out to see if it's going to solve some of your storage solution issues. Hey, it's Erica from Radar Road Warriors. We make educational videos for our viewers and show our adventures and findings along the way. And today we're going to talk about my favorite accessory, the Scatus collection from Ikea. So let's get into it. The overview of the system is it comes with a pegboard with a bar that attaches on the back. And we'll get into that in a little bit. And then you can buy the accessories that you want and you can move them around however you want. It's amazing. The pegboard comes in different sizes and colors, and I don't want to tell you what those are because IKEA might change their offerings, so make sure you check the link below to see what they currently have in stock. And then when you buy the package for the pegboard, that will come with the bar and then the screws that you need to attach it to the wall. And then you get to pick the accessories that you want. So I'm going to go through the accessories. I didn't buy all of them. I almost bought all of them, but some of them I didn't need. So first off are these little cubes and they just attach. Then we also have these ones and they're, oops, they slide out. So these ones will fall off when you go down the road in your RV if you're using this in an RV. So they also have these bungees that you can buy and those attach like they use them for pictures or just attach different things. So I use them to hold these on because I bought a whole bunch of them and I had extra. So I said, why not? So these ones I do need to use the bungees so these don't slide out. On some of these boards, you'll see that I use the bungees around these containers, but you definitely don't need them if you're in the RV. They do stay put. And then these ones are shelves. Let's see how big they are. And then we have these bags. And I didn't think they were that big at first. You can see I have a notebook in here. So you can see how big they are. They're about three inches wide. Now how I use these in the RV, I either put stuff in them right here, we're in the bedroom, and when we travel, we'll close our slide, which closes off our dresser. On these ones, I specifically put the items that we need on travel day. I put my underwear, socks, pajamas in here. And I also leave them in there, and then later I can't find my stuff. And I'm like, where are they at? And they're always in these bags. They also have these loops I use for scissors. You only need one, but I had two, and I didn't have anything extra, so I put them both in there. And when you do use two, make sure the scissors don't wobble around, and they have hooks. There's also a couple other accessories I didn't buy, so make sure you check out the link below to see if you'd be able to use them. We bought the Scatus collection for our last RV. That RV had a lot more wall space. Our current RV has a lot more window space, so I think we had eight before, and now we have seven. And we did move them over and found spots where they would fit, so it's nice that you can move them around. I'm gonna show you how we use them to give you a couple ideas. This one is in our bedroom, and we have a dry erase board over to the side. We took off the TV mount. And it's a lot of the small things that we need in here, but we don't have any area to really put little small things. So this is absolutely great. Then I have this one by my bedside to put lotions, chapsticks, everything that I need for bed. It didn't fit exactly, so Steve cut it on the table saw. And this one is Steve's. It attaches to the back of the bathroom sliding door, and it's all his bedtime stuff, different random things he needs, and I'm not sure if they come in black anymore. We have this one in our bathroom for odds and ends, and it was above our mirror in our last one, now it's above our toilet. If you do put it above your toilet, make sure that you have room for your head. In our RV, we have a bonus room. We use it for laundry, office, and a mudroom. So on one side, we have all of our office supplies. On the other, we have a charging station. We have different cords, chargers. We put shelves so we can put our Fitbit, different items that need to be charged, our headlamps. Then we have a power strip. In another shelf so this is great there are so many ways that you can use these you just have to think outside the box and see what will work for yourself i want to answer the big question how these are attached to the wall first i'm going to take a picture of everything where it's at because if it's not in the right spot my wife will freak erica mentioned that it came with the board and the bar and screws them onto the wall so this is the bar it brings off the wall just enough so the hooks will go through and not hit to the wall it also came with some mounting screws to attach the board to the bar and it comes with these little spacers and screws that would attach a spacer to the board. What I did for RV customization installing 
is I didn't use the screws that came with this to mount it to the wall. I got some fatter screws so they would attach to the wall and not pull off as they travel. These screws are about a quarter inch diameter on them, so they're really fat, coarse threaded screws. When I put them into the wall, I pre-drilled with an eighth inch drill bit and then screwed these screws into the wall. Also, with the bottom spacers, these normally would just float against the wall, which work great in a sticks and bricks house, but in an RV, I needed extra screws so the boards would not bounce around as we traveled. What I did is I drilled the center of these out so the screws would fit through the middle. And I use these pole barn type screws, they have a little washer head on them. These are around an inch and a half long, so they would not go to the outside of the RV. And the other screws I use are about an inch and a quarter long. Our walls are around two inches thick in this RV. Some RVs have different thicknesses of the walls. You're gonna to wanna to check how your RV is built. So we'll put a description in below how this one is built for a little bit of an idea for you. But every one is built a little bit different. I try to find studs and I put these into the walls, but most times it's not really an option for how the spacings are, the bars, and how the RV is built. I use the thicker screws. We travel for a year, around 12,000 miles, everything has stayed put. Erica mentioned I might have confused you a part of that. Our total wall is two inches thick. That means if a screw is an inch and a quarter long, it's not gonna poke through the outside of the RV. All you're really concerned about is this piece of wood you're screwing to on the RV. This is only around a quarter inch thick, and then there's a piece of foam, and then the outside fiberglass. If you have a screw that attaches to that quarter inch piece of wood, that is the important part. And now I'm gonna show you how this goes back together. So I'm gonna put it back together, and it's gonna be probably a faster speed for you. First thing is to put the screws into the bar. You'll want to snug them up a little bit and then put the board on it to make sure everything is level and lined up and then you'll tighten these screws back up. So did you use those screws from Ikea or are those ones that you bought? These are the screws that I bought. I have the bar in, the screws are snug. I guess they'll move around a little bit. I'm going to hang the board on it and make sure it lines up and it's level, and then I'll take the board back off and tighten those screws back up. Also remember, the wall is only a quarter inch thick. This is not very heavy duty wood. You wanna lightly screw them in, don't over tighten them, and strip out the wood. Now I'm gonna put the board back on. This uses the original screws that come from Ikea. After I tighten these screws up, I'm gonna put the bottom screws on, which are additional screws I added for additional strength. These are the pole barn screws that go through the original spacers that come from Ikea. Make sure you drill at the center of these because there's not a space to put a screw all the way through them and you will fight and struggle unless you drill the center of these out. But be careful when you do that that you don't hurt your finger. All back in place. Now to put everything back where it went and refer to the picture. Some bonus tips for you. If you are limited on space like we are in the RV, you might want to arrange everything how you think you're going to want it before you put the screws in. And what I'm talking about is you can see up here, I can't put my bags in this position so I'm losing some vertical space. And every time I told Steve where to put the screws, I put them in the opposite direction so I screwed myself on a little bit of space. So if you can organize it, figure out where you want it that will work best for you, then put the screws you'll be able to utilize more space. And my last bonus tip for you is if you don't know what to buy and you go to Ikea, buy a couple of each of their accessories, get enough so you can put on the board, but don't buy a whole bunch so you might not use them. That way you can put them on the board, arrange them how you want them, and then I would suggest taking a picture, and then moving to the next board, arrange them how you want them, take a picture, and then add up how many you need, and then just go back online and have them shipped to your house that way you're not buying too many, but you have enough of what you need to organize each of your sections of your house, RV, or office. The links to the Scatus collection is down in the description below, so make sure you check it out. If you haven't already watched the RV renovations video, Upgrade Storage Solutions, that's going to be down there as well, or if you need to link back to it. And if you have questions about the Scatus collection, leave me a comment below, and if not, see you on the next video.